What's up guys, welcome back to Redstone Engineering. In this video, we're gonna go over how to make an auto sorter, just like this one, where you have a chest that you can dump all of your items into and have it distribute those items into their respective chests, like copper, iron, gold, diamonds, what have you. With that, let's jump right in. All right, so first what we want to do is place down our chests. So I'm gonna place them down just immediately right next to each other like this. You can do this however you'd like, as long as you have a way to get the hoppers into their positions. And then what we do is we place hoppers that face directly into these containers. So they face directly into the chests and not like into each other or something. And then on top of these, we need to place hoppers that don't face into each other. So I place these like wood planks and then place the hoppers into them so that all of these hoppers face this direction. They can't face into each other because then we have problems and you don't want to have problems. And then up here, what we do is we make a chain of hoppers that all just like go one direction and they face into each other. So just like this, and I'll do one more block out so that we have this upper part facing the same direction, then this part not facing anywhere, but they're like below these hoppers. And then these ones facing into the containers. All right, so before we go any further, I just want to note that you should put a container on top of these hoppers up here. I like to use furnaces because they're cheap and they're a little bit easier to get than like say chests or something. And the reason for this is because when you have a hopper just like on the ground like this normally, they pull items into the top of them, of course, right? So the game checks for items on top of it almost every tick. If not every tick, I'm not 100% sure how it works in that case, but it lags up if you have over like 100 hoppers that don't have anything on top of them. Whereas if you have a container on top of it like this, then it bypasses that check and it only updates when the block above it, so in this case the container updates. So your world will be a significantly less laggy if you put furnaces up here, especially if you have like 100 different items that are being sorted. You wanna make sure that you don't have all of these just like facing up to the sky. All right, so once you have this set up, we can add the redstone in the back. So first, what we need to do, because they're all next to each other, I can't really build it in like the order that the redstone goes in, so I kind of have to do it backwards. So we want to break these blocks down here that are like diagonal from these hoppers right here. So just like have it like this. And then we want to place torches into this block right here so that these torches are specifically on this block because then we put repeaters right here. So the repeaters, when powered, will turn off the torch right here. Then what we do is we place redstone on these blocks. We place redstone on top of these like blocks that are on top of the repeaters, so like this. And then what we do is we add blocks all along this. So basically we just have three blocks that are opaque, preferably. And then we place a block up here. And this block specifically has to be here because you put comparators right here. And the comparators aren't going to read from the hoppers if there's not a block here. So you have to make sure that there's a block here. And what you should have when you kind of look at it all is the hopper, the block, the comparator, the redstone, another redstone, a repeater, and then a torch. This torch needs to be powered off or on based on the repeater. And the torch also needs to go into this block right here so that it can power this hopper. All right, now that we have the redstone, we need to add the items into this middle row of hoppers. So the entire premise behind the auto sorter is you fill the slots with the item that you want filtered into what it, like the chest down here so that the only item that can go through this hopper are in this case, copper bars or whatever you have in here. And then, assuming it stacks up to 64, I'll do a stack of 16 here in a minute, we need to do this. So basically, we put 10 in the left slot, and then we do 3 in these slots. And basically, we don't want these right 4 slots to be too large, and I would recommend being like 3 or below in this case, because if they are, then the left slot will get pulled completely into this chest right here, and then the auto sorter will break because then, of course, there's a slot open and all the other items could go into your chest. So this left slot needs to be the biggest one, and I would recommend not going above three um, on the right side right here. And then we just keep adding them. So if we have a stack of 16, we do just one, and then we do however many it lets you, and I believe it only lets you do that. So you have all of them right here, and then any more will get pulled into the chest. So you can't have something like 
whoops, a stack of two right here, because then this one will get sucked in and then you have the same problem as we would have had on that side if our stacks were too big. So you have it like this, and then you just do this on all of them that you would like to have for the chests. And it's a little bit hungry with items. This takes a lot of items. So if you're sorting something like diamonds, it's a little unfortunate, but the payoff is definitely worth it. All right, so once we have the items in place, and in my case, I also added some item frames here just for aesthetic appeal. I have copper, iron, gold, diamonds, and eggs with their respective numbers for these filters. We need to have an area where we can put the unfiltered items. So that is just at the beginning of this top hopper chain right here. I just put a chest here. This can be like a shulker box or something though. If it's like a shulker box and you expect to be able to grab it again, you need to like disable this hopper so that the hopper doesn't just suck in your shulker box. You could also use a water, water stream that goes from the ground into this hopper if you don't want to have to look up into this chest every time or if this is like really high up for some reason. So this chest, you can dump all of your unfiltered items. I'll just dump all my stuff in here. And then also something that I'd recommend is having an overflow chest. So this is just a chest that goes at the end of this hopper chain. I'll just put it on the ground for aesthetic appeal, but you can just put it wherever you want. And this is basically so that if any, hold on. So if any item gets all the way through this auto sorter, so basically it's not any of these items right here, it just goes into this chest and it doesn't clog up any of the hoppers until I guess this chest fills up. But this chest can take a lot more items than a hopper can, of course. And you want to be able to do that because you usually aren't going to be putting in only items that can be sorted. Or sometimes you can like misclick or something and you don't want your auto sorter to break. Because if it gets clogged up, then eventually bad things happen and it really just depends on how it gets clogged. So you want to have this overflow thing right here. And then we can see that these unfiltered items are getting filtered into their respective chests, which is exactly what we would want. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. Let me know down in the comments if something was confusing or if you have any general suggestions. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.